I am Anil Kumar. In this video, I will take three questions relating to writing equation of a rational function of the form ax plus b over cx plus d for given conditions. Now here we have x intercept of minus 4, y intercept of minus 2, vertical asymptote x equals to 2, horizontal asymptote y equals to 1. Let's try to understand this equation. We'll write the equation in the form of f of x equals to ax plus b over cx plus d, right? Now, when we say that x intercept is minus 4, it means what? It means that f of x is equal to 0, right? And that basically means that ax plus b is equal to 0, right? So, that means ax plus b is 0. Now, we are given x intercept of 4, that means when x is equal to minus 4, this expression is 0, right? That's what it means. So, for the first condition, we have to make the numerator 0 for x equals to minus 4. Therefore, the expression should be what? We want ax plus b to be equal to 0 for x equals to minus 4. Think like this. Clearly, it means that x plus 4 should come in the numerator. Only then, it will be 0 for x equals to minus 4. Does it make sense to you, right? So, we get numerator as x plus 4, right? Now, I'll suggest that ignore this y-intercept. We'll meet the three criteria. So, we have done the first one, okay? Let's do the second one. Let's use a different thing. Second one is vertical asymptote of x equals to 2. That means denominator has to be 0. Is that okay? So, this means that cx plus d equals to 0, right? For x equals to 2. And that is possible if cx plus d equals to 0 for x equals to 2. That means denominator is x minus 2. Only then it will be 0. Is that okay? Now, we have these two conditions. Let's apply them. We have almost our equation, correct? So, if you apply these two conditions, you can write the function as f of x equals to x plus 4 over x minus 2. Now, let us check. Y intercept of minus 2. Y intercept of minus 2 means that when x equals to 0, y is minus 2. So, if I write 0 here, I get 4 over minus 2, which is minus 2. It works. Horizontal asymptote y equals to 1. The ratio of leading coefficient is 1, so that also works. Is that okay? So, this becomes your answer. Perfect. So, we get our result as f of x equals to x plus 4 over x minus 2. So, it is that simple, correct? Now, let's do one more example. I'll use a different strategy here. Now, write an equation for a rational function whose graph has all the indicated features. x intercept is 3 over 5. Correct? So, when I say x intercept is 3 over 5, that means what is the numerator? When will the numerator be 0 and give you x intercept of 3 over 5? That means that the equation should be 5x minus 3. So, that becomes the numerator. Correct? Now, you can check that this numerator will be 0 when x is 3 over 5, right? So, you could see 5 times 3 over 5 minus 3 is 0, correct? Or, you could also think like this, x minus 3 over 5, correct? So, when you take common denominator, you will get 5x minus 3 over 5. Ignore this. Perfect. You get 5x minus 3. So, these are different ways of thinking, correct? Now, let's look into the vertical asymptote, which is at minus half. That means, denominator should be 2x plus 1. Only then, it will be 0 for x equals to minus half, correct? So, we have applied this also. Horizontal asymptote is ratio of these two. As you can see, it is 5 
over 2. That is correct. If I substitute x equals to 0, I get minus 3. So this condition is also met. So that becomes our function, right? So we can say the function for us is 5x minus 3 over 2x plus 1. Perfect. So just by checking your x-intercepts and vertical asymptotes, most of the time you will get your equation, right? So let's do it once again. Now here we have to again write the rational function in that form where x-intercept is 2 over 5, y-intercept is minus 2 over 3. Vertical asymptote is at minus 3 over 2, horizontal at 5 over 2. So you can actually pause the video, write down the solution of this, and then check with my solution. So what are we going to check? We are only going to check numerator with x-intercept and vertical asymptote. So we'll write our function f of x as equal to Numerator should be 0 for 2 over 5. That means 5x minus 2. Perfect. Denominator should be 0 for vertical asymptote to be at minus 3 over 2. That means 2x plus 3. Now it is a matter of checking. If I substitute x equals to 0, minus 2 over 3 is my y-intercept. So I check that. And horizontal asymptote is ratio of 5 and 2, which is right there. And therefore, that is our answer. So do you see how easy it is to write rational functions of the form ax plus b over cx plus d with given conditions? You basically have to check only two of them to get it right and the other two to confirm that you have the correct solution. I hope you appreciate and enjoy this strategy. Feel free to write your comments and suggestions. And if you like and subscribe, that would be great. Thank you and all the best.